Hello parents. I wanted to come on to um, chat with you for a second because by the time that I finish drafting this email, it would be a novel and I think I would create more confusion than actual clarity. So um, I'm here today just to kind of give you a few updates and a kind of um, some new messages. So to begin, um, I wanted to touch base about the school calendar. Um, next Friday and Monday were school holidays. So we are going to keep it that way. Next Friday is Good Friday with the following Monday being that Easter Monday. So we're going to keep it that that way. So you'll see on the lesson plans, Friday will be blacked out and then the following Monday will also be blacked out. So we want to keep that um, that celebration of the season and what that means for right now. So um, we'll be able to look out for that. The other thing is I'm sure you've all heard and you're all very aware that um, we will not be returning to school until the 4th of, of May. Um, and while that is heartbreaking for us as teachers, of course, we're like devastated because we want to see those kids again. Um, it is one of those, you know, we're kind of put in a tough place as parents because um, that means that it's a little bit more of a challenge for you to take on for the next month. So with that being said, it does broach the subject of grades. So the initial plan was that the kids would just hang on to their hard copies of all of the things that they were producing. However, being that we are going to come back for about two weeks, it just isn't really a feasible option anymore. And so we're going to ask for your help in that. Um, there are going to be two ways that we can give you to help us submit the kids hard copies of their work that they are producing. So one being a way, well, both of them, I'm going to show you again, kind of the purpose of the video so that I can actually physically show you how that would look. Um, but also to kind of specify as well about when those grading terms are. So prior to spring break, we had, Ms. Remini and I both had plenty of grades that would go into the grade book. So what the report card, this next rollout coming out, I believe it would be Tuesday morning. That rollout is going to be from everything that the kids did up until spring break and they were in the physical classroom. So just know that those were those grades. Now, going forward, the new grades in the last term are going to be predominantly what they're doing for distance learning. So few pieces of clarification for that. Number one is that do not worry about week one. Last week was considered week one of distance learning, but there were a lot of kinks that we had to work out. Some people um, did not get the email that was sent out until late in the week. Some people didn't get it at, at all. Um, some people didn't see attachments. Some people, and there, there were a lot of hiccups along the way. So we're gonna consider last week just a practice week. So all of those items that the kids pr produce, while they are fantastic, unless you want to submit those, do not worry about those. What we're gonna say is the new grades and the true grades that are going to start going in the grade book are going to start this week with this being week two of distance learning. Um, again, with that being said, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna submit those. And the required grades are the ones that are in highlighted, are highlighted on the chart. Um, now, the Khan Academy and the uh, kids A to Z, we can see those. Ms. Remini and I are checking those on our dashboard, so you don't have to do anything with those. I will take care of those. Um, but if they are highlighted, somehow we need to get those. So I'm going to show you a couple of avenues that we can do that. One, if you are an iPhone user, it has a really cool built-in, um, if you've been hearing that vibrating this whole time, our teachers, this we have a teacher strand all day, every day is just constant blowing up. I had to put it on silent because it is constant and we are chatting about the kids. It is constant. Um, so let me get out of the kit, the text messages. So on the iPhone in the notes section, I'm going to show you, I'm going to, I don't know if you can see, Oh my gosh, I'm telling you coach Roberts just texted. So sorry if we're going to get interrupted for this. Um, here's my note section. Now in the bottom, is this little, the square, I'm gonna show, try to take away the glare, um, is the square where you create a new note. When you click on that, it brings up this screen where you can see like a spreadsheet, you can type, you can, um, I don't even know what that check mark is. And then there's the camera. When you click on the camera, it brings up this screen here. And what it says is scan document is that top one. 
If you click on scan documents right there, it automatically turns it into a, a, a camera and you'll put your kid's work on the table and just scan it. Once you do that, you can crop it and it'll just take a look at the, the paper itself. So you can crop out the countertop, you can crop out the table, whatever you're on. Um, and then it'll give you the option of scanning another piece of work. So you can continue to scan multiple pages in this one thing. At the very end, you then have the choice of texting it or uh, messaging it or whatever. I would prefer, Ms. Remini would prefer that you would email it. That way it's all in one place. If it's not working and there's a glitch or whatever, by all means, you can text it. Um, but again, if you're in my homeroom, you'll email it to me. It's nashr at smabears.org. If it's Ms. Remini, it's Remini A at smabears.org. So you, that is one avenue that you can do that with your phone, just quick and easy. You can go through um, and do multiple assignments at a time. The other way to do it, if you are not an iPhone user, now I will say um, if you have uh, like an Android or whatever, you may have this capability as well. I just am not familiar with it. The other way that you can go about it is that there's an app called Genius Scan. And essentially it's the exact same thing, but it's an app that will automatically send it to my email whenever you scan. And it is on here and it looks like that right there. It has a um, an orange square with a white circle on the middle and that's the emblem right there. But again, it pops right up to here. There are your documents, you just add a new document, you scan it and then you can do multiple at a time. You can do all the kids work, you know, whatever you have. And I'm gonna explain that in just a second. But, um, sorry, more teachers. Um, and then you can email it from this app. So you have two different methods that you can send and, or you can scan and send the actual hard copies of the kids' work. I would suggest keeping it in a folder just in case because what may happen is, um, you know, we'll be kind of making a checklist and we may come to a piece of work and just kind of shoot you an email and say, hey, we never got this. And um, you can always go back and look and make sure that you got it. Now, um, the big question is when is all of this due? Again, Week one, call that a wash. Um, if you want to, if you want to send it, you are really proud of your kids' work. By all means, send that. That is fantastic. But if you um, if you don't and you want to just start fresh with week two, that's what we would suggest. Now, with that being said, the 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 great goal would be by Saturday to have all the week's work sent in by Saturday. If that means that you're going to be stressed because you're still working your 40, 50 hour week and you're, you've got three kids at home and you're juggling everything and that puts you on a time crunch, send it to us anytime. There are no penalties for late work. We're not deducting any points. Um, so you do what you can. If you want to do it like Monday, you finish all the work and you want to scan it over, by all means, go for it. If you want to do it, yes, you know, so if you want to do it daily, great. If you want to do it all on Friday when they finish, great. If you want to do it on Sunday, then great. So what I'm saying is there really isn't a deadline. I would like to say by Saturday, that way we can kind of have some time to grade and input grades. We are still going to, going to be using the fax system, previously known as RenWeb. So we still be using those to keep up with your grades. So you can still be looking for those on um, for your kids' grades and, and keeping track of it that way. But again, Ms. Rem and I both have a checklist, so if something were to come up where we didn't get something, we will just shoot you an email or a text just to say, hey, by the way, I didn't get this. And like I said, we'll get that. We'll, we'll figure it all out. Um, the biggest thing, Mr. McCray wrote a letter to, um, uh, Ms. Henry put that, put Ms. McCray's letter in this past update. And the biggest thing that we cannot stress enough is grace. And so uh, we, we completely understand that there are so many parents that are still working from home. They still have so much that they're balancing and juggling. And throwing in the homeschool on top of this is something that is just kind of adding a very big challenging element. So please know that by adding in, sending in the grades, we don't want to stress or overwhelm you by any means. So if it does become a, a point of contention, let me know and I can walk you through it. Um, you have my text or you have my phone number so you can call or text anytime. Um, but we we want to know we want you to know that we are still remaining very, very positive about this remainder of the school year and we want you to know that we are here for you. Do not be stressed. You give yourself some grace. We're giving you the grace, but give yourself that grace too. So um, that being said, um, I hope I covered everything, but if I didn't, let me know and I will be happy to walk you through it. Um, beyond that, we are still praying for each and every one of these families. 
especially the ones that are still working and are still in the midst of everything. And so um, I get it. I'm there too. <laughs> so we are on day like 795 of distance learning with just a few more to go. We can do this and it'll make us stronger. It'll make us better. And we are prayerful every day for um, a successful outcome for all of our kids. So let us know if you have any questions at all. And we thank you so much for your prayers and your support along the way. Thanks y'all. Bye-bye.